Welcome to Echoes of Enlightenment, where we talk about spirituality, life lessons, and overall self-development. In today's episode, we'll be talking about invisible expectations. I was at the gym earlier today and I was talking to this guy that I know from the gym and I asked him, I was just like, hey, you know, how was your weekend? He's like, oh, it was good, man. Went on a date last night with this chick. It was it was okay, but the date didn't really go as I as I planned, had all these high hopes on, you know, how things would go and, you know, nothing really fell in place. So we just went home, you know, that was about it. Then I asked him, I said, well, how do you think the date would have went if you didn't already have high expectations on how it should go before you even got to the date? Knowing, you know, she's a a stranger to you. He's like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. And I said, all right, well, look, I said, pick a number between one and five. He's like, "Uh huh? I said, Pick pick a number between one and five. He said two. I said nope. It's it's four. He goes well. How am I supposed to know that? I said exactly. I go that's what having high expectations is. You are expecting for somebody to meet your high expectations. That means meet an invisible plan that you have in your head that nobody knows about but you. But they're supposed to fill these these expectations these hopes and dreams that you have for them and they don't even know that that's what the plan is they're thinking they're just coming to meet you but you already have a plan in your head for what they're supposed to do on this date he's like yeah that's true and i said the only expectations you should have going on going on a date is expecting them to show up to the date and expect them to, you know, meet you there at a certain time that you planned, that y'all planned. And the rest of the expectation should be put on yourself. Like, I expect for myself to be a good listener while I'm on this date. I expect for myself to be there on time. I expect for myself to be pleasant on this date. I expect for myself to try my best to have a good time and enjoy myself. Those are the expectations we should have. Those are the only ones we should have. And the rest, you let the person be who they are. Because there's no way they're going to be able to guess what you want them to do before the date even starts. Y'all don't even know each other. This is something new. That's why you're going to meet each other so y'all can get to know each other. It's almost setting yourself up. Well, it is. It's setting yourself up for failure, expecting somebody to be able to fill those shoes that you've expected them to walk in if you know what I mean like like there's no way a new person's going to be able to guess what you expect for them to do it's really it's not going to it's not going to work you really got to ask yourself at that point like what but why why am I on this date because I'm already you're sabotaging it I'm you're sabotaging the date because the person's not going to Nobody's going to meet those expectations because they're they're not talked about. This is just invisible. This is what you have, your hopes and dreams that you have in your mind. And you expect somebody just to be able to guess those invisible thoughts that you're, you know, that you have for them. And that's not going to work. And when they're not meeting these expectations, invisible expectations, you're looking at them like, oh, yeah, we're not a match. Nah, we're not a match. I'm going to have to meet somebody else because they're not doing what I think they should be doing right now. and They're not responding the way I think they should be. It's it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's a waste of time. You've wasted both, you know, your time and you've wasted the other person's time. I'm not I'm not saying this to that to the guy, but I'm just I'm just talking to y'all about this right now. Why? You know, it's sabotage to have a ton of expectations for somebody that you don't even know it's different if it was a job you're like i expect you know there's a list of things 
for somebody to fill their duty as a, you know, employee. But this is a, a date. And if you're able to, if you're able to have expectations for yourself, then that leaves so much room for you to actually have fun because you're, you're worried about what you're doing. You're making sure you're, you're bringing your best version of yourself to this date. And then you let them bring their best version to the date. So think about how many dates could have been ruined by people having pretty high expectations for somebody else that they don't even know. They could have had a lot of different people that matched with them, but they were excluded from the running or the date was cut short due to you not meeting a certain thing. But then if you think about it, what, what would happen if somebody did meet all these invisible expectations that you had for them? Say they did meet all those. Chances are you wouldn't want them either, probably even more, because you would say this is too good to be true. Now it's too good to be true. They, there's some, there's got to be something wrong with them. So you exclude them then too. You X them out because they're too good. And then you X them out because they're not meeting the standard. So if you can worry about having expectations for your own self and just go with the flow of the date, chances are you'll be pleasantly surprised by how cool some people can be just on their own without them having to meet your pre-planned standards. But I'm going to end this right here. Until next time.